Hey there, everyone. That's not a black screen you're seeing, that's just me being dumb. That's a save. Welcome back to New Vegas. It's been literally like two minutes. Last time, the only significant thing we did was see Bugs Beef get shot. You know, I think that describes the entire game. Also, I think you were intended to come this way because this is the way that the path tracking is leading me. Oh boy, I'm dropping frames. But I'm getting to my goal. And I know someday. Oh my god. First, let me stop using this fucking pistol. Well, I'm on ammo for that. Oh, wonderful. I'm not using a shot I should save again because I know I'm going to die. Save it twice because bad things happen. Why am I so quiet today? I don't know. End your life. God. I will end you. <laughs> I will end your life. Get out. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I ended you. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. What's wrong with that one? Same thing, it'll be fine. Uh, so, uh, the purpose of this game is just, just to get me to shout, I will end you very loudly. This is a quick save button. going the right direction. At least there's like a fast travel area nearby. Which there probably is like right here. But still. station they don't appear to want to kill me Refreshed. Refreshed enough that I will say. That's awkward. <laughs> Anywho, let's walk this way. Maybe we won't run into any more dangerous things. And maybe we will. Who knows? 
You'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Radio signal. Tears to four where radio signals actually matter. Am I going the right way? I'm almost there. Is that Nipton? <laughs> this looks really funny. This is no bad. What am I supposed to be doing here? Ask around. Hey, little Timmy. Where's the arrow trying to send? It's trying to send me to, to a person. Say nothing, and I don't aim to now by gum. I don't you just see me. Right you come any closer, and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. He's gone down. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. Okay, okay. Said you stab me. Up a little. Not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. Cause they know I ain't I just working no here. What I say is God by it, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull, and I know what I seen. There's been things What's been going on here? nature guy. going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, a livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets. Sounds like the Legion. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. What else do you know? I come face to face with the Chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest Chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having still an agent. argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. There's a ghoul up near the rocket factory. 
cooked up by superstitious yokels seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Ghosts. I think that's funny. Ghosts. We don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our <laughs> communist ghosts. Fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. This guy's old. He talks about communists. I have to admit, I might have just blinked for longer than usual, but with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. A communist ghost. Sure have. Camouflage, that coat was. Trying to hide from extraterrestrials what can only see in black and white checkers. <laughs> but they're not fooled because he forgot to put checkers on his face. I told him so. He's old, he to take it to delusional, they and he knows what communists are. Up by the dinosaurs, talking to the sniper fellow with a mustache a couple of times. If anyone asks, we never spoke. What can I do for you? Are you sure? You won't be able to... Okay. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. She hasn't paid me anything yet. Should I be worried? Between you and me, I don't think she studied at an accredited institution. What can I do for you? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. Yeah, I need sterile medical supplies. What an ass. Another satisfied customer. This is a workbench around here. Guess I'll have to fast travel back and find a workbench. Oh, never mind. Here's a workbench. Uh, I'm not smart enough to make that. Oh, geez. I'm not smart enough to make everything. I need science. means I have to go into the doctor's house. I think this is the doctor's house. This is not the doctor's house. Oh, doctor, where's your house? Oh, 
doctor. Choo choo. See here. I like your face. I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot it's me. Otherwise, it's boom. You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. So far, we've been lucky. Boone's a sniper, it's been. same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. And you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. I get what you mean. Were they tough? I mean, yeah. was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any Oh, better. fuck. Oh. It was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Uh, well, I eat? just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Sure, I know. Look for a man to check it out. Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need too. Novak, it's all for you. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. I'll see what I can do. Get these ghouls out. <laughs> what was I yeah, supposed to do again? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. It's dumb. Man, we're getting stuff done. First, I need to save. It's been a while. And this game, apparently, is very bad with the save data. 
but uh, yeah, this is this is an interesting turn. I I like where this game's going. I I like it. Of course, I'm still blind. I can't change being blind with this game. Unless I go through and like play at a mom down, but that won't happen. Also, my window's background changing is the dumbest thing. Where am I supposed to be going? God. I'm so confused. Maybe it's up here. That's what it was. I was just getting confused. I'm like, what was I walked all the way around without changing the quest because I'm very tired. But I feel like being a nice person, doing nice things. I don't even want to know. This had to be popular with kids, and then someone died. That's how everything works. Whoa, what? Why not? Oh. It's driving up the radiation. I get it. Shotgun bullets for that. I'll need to repair this one. But I could always use about 10 millimeter. Whatever. I 
it doesn't mind about to blow up on me. I'm gonna have to hurt myself. much for grenade guy you know I think this is the appropriate this is would be an appropriate place to stop but uh this has been another successful episode of Fallout New Vegas my name's Tails of Beard and I hope you've had a wonderful time. Have a good day.